hello everybody i hope you're all doing well if you're new here my name is sam i post all things lifestyle faith travel vlogs random vlogs such as this one and i love having you here i would love it and appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button if you enjoy my content i would love to have you be part of the little family over here but today guys we are vlogging i know it's been a minute and I've seen the comments being like, so is this just going to be a podcast channel or like, are we vlogging? What are we doing? And to be honest, I love vlogging, but outside of YouTube, guys, I work a regular full-time job Monday through Friday. So sometimes I just don't have interesting things that I think are worthy of vlogging. But today we're doing something fun, something very different for me. I have never done this before. You can tell by the title, we are doing a little solo trip date day and we'll talk a little bit more about it later but essentially i'm gonna go explore a town that's not like too too far from me um but it's a little far that i've never explored before so we're gonna take the drive i want to go walk around all the shops there's a flower shop i want to go to i'm gonna take myself out to dinner and i'm going to a movie all by myself and i am so out of my comfort zone with this but I am pushing myself because it's something I've always wanted to do. This was actually inspired by a friend of mine who was talking about wanting to do her first like solo weekend trip, like go stay somewhere, book a hotel, all the things. And I was so inspired by it and I thought about doing that, but I actually, I have to be home for tomorrow. So I can't do an overnight trip, but I can do a solo date day. So the drive is a little less than an hour and i'm really pushing myself i know i'm gonna be so uncomfortable the thought of eating out by myself freaks me out a little bit um going to a movie by myself doesn't really freak me out it's definitely new for me but i mean you're sitting in a dark room watching a movie so i don't think that's really a big deal um but i've always wanted to try this and i had a free day and i said okay i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna bring you guys along so i think it'll be fun so as you can see i'm ready as far as hair and makeup goes just did my everyday stuff but i'm gonna go get dressed and i want to actually like dress up cute like this is like a real date day well it is a real date day i'm dating myself so Let's go get ready. Okay, so to be honest, I don't really know what I wanna wear except for the fact that I know I wanna wear this jacket. So I am gonna be that person that's just gonna design their whole outfit around a jacket. So let me show you. I just got this jacket from Cider. It's like a faux Sherpa type wraparound jacket. I think it's beautiful. I haven't worn it yet and it's surprisingly warm it looks a lot warmer than it is because it's so thick and it's lined with this sherpa material all the way all the way through so i think this will be perfect um but because i feel like this is going to be like the focal point of the outfit we got to go simple underneath so here's what i'm thinking i think we got to go with the staple items this is my tried and true black bodysuit it's like a skims dupe almost from amazon you really can't go wrong with it. And then my favorite, I feel like I wear these almost every day of my life. My straight leg jeans from Cider. They're high-waisted, they fit like a glove. They're perfect. So these two with that underneath, I think it's perfect. Okay, so we are dressed. Now the million dollar question. Do I really wanna commit and like be cute and wear booty heels? Or do I wanna go sneakers? I know that the outfit is gonna be better with the booties, but I feel like this is a little extra, even for me. So, because we're gonna be walking around, I think I'm gonna go with sneakers. So we're going for like a casual chic look, right? I don't know. Right now, before I leave, I just wanted to post an announcement over on my Instagram, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I'll just show you, here's what it is. The Walk Podcast is officially on Spotify as of last night, which is so wild. I'm not going to talk about the podcast in this episode because that's not what this is. I'll talk more about it in the next episode of the podcast, but I'm just so excited. I want to throw up. I want to scream. I want to do all the things, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know over my Instagram that that is now live. So that's what I just did. Okay, so I think we're ready to head out. Oh, you know what I need to do before we actually go? I need to return these dresses. So we'll go to the UPS store on the way. I had to try on some bridesmaids dresses for one of my best friend's wedding this summer. Um, and I picked this one 
I gotta make sure it's this one, but I'm keeping this one. I already bought it and then the other two I have to return. So we're gonna do that on the way and then we're heading to our destination. Bag is packed. I have all the essentials. I brought my journal and my book that I'm reading because both of my friends that I talked to about this trip that have done this or want to do this both said to bring something to do during like dinner. They were like, try not to be on your phone, just be present. So I'm bringing those two things. I have my wallet, my EpiPen. I always have my little foldable tripod with me. I have my teeth stuff because I still have my, my trays in. I'm bringing some water for the drive and I think we're good to go. Last order of business. Here's how the jacket looks. I mean, it's really, it's a staple piece outfit with just a jacket over it. <laughs> So nothing too crazy, but I really like it and I was right. It's so warm in this jacket. I'm dying. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, package has been successfully returned. So I don't have like a concrete plan of like the order I want to do everything in, but I do know the flower shop I want to go to closes first. So I think I'm just going to put that address into the GPS and kind of just start from there because I think most of it's going to be walking anyway so we'll find a place to park and just kind of start exploring. While I'm driving just some thoughts on like why I'm doing this right because some of you might be like why are you being this extra just to spend a day with yourself um, but I don't know I think there's something really cool about genuinely like loving yourself well and treating yourself well and the reality is there will be some days where you won't have people to like do things with if you want to go to a movie but not everyone around you is free that's kind of just the reality sometimes and i don't think that that should stop you from doing the things that you want to do and i'm gonna get cheesy for a second but i truly think and this is one of the things i've learned in the last year is that if you don't treat yourself well and treat yourself the way you want to be treated and love yourself the way you want to be loved it's really hard to let someone love you in that same way in the way you desire and in the way you deserve so that's kind of what i'm trying to do at the first shopping center i will say i thought it was a little bit different there's like a trader joe's here it's just a regular shopping center but i think this is where the flower shop is so let's see i made a little pit stop first at a pet store this is the only hint you're gonna get I'm just making a pit stop this is all so cute i don't even know what this is okay we're going with these two The smell in here is crazy. Package secured. I got tulips and I think they're called mums. I didn't vlog too much in there because I could tell they were kind of like, what are you doing with your camera? But it smelled so good in there, so pretty. This is what I really wanted to do, was get some fresh flowers. So I'm excited about that. All right, I'm back in the car now. I think there's another shopping center that I want to go to because that one was very grocery which I didn't fully realize, which is fine, but just kind of not what I was expecting. So there's another one I want to try, um, but you're gonna laugh at me. I knew I was gonna go to a flower shop, so I brought a Stanley with just a little bit of water and extra Stanley to put the flowers in since I'm not gonna be home for like a good couple hours. Um, so let's put these in there um, and I'll show you the flowers better. I got, I think these are called mums, which I love. I th no, maybe they're not, yeah, no. I don't know you guys tell me and then I got these orange and yellow tulips so she wrapped them up in paper pretty well and she cut them a little bit so I want to make sure the stems come all the way down also this is your sign that if there was ever a time in your life where you didn't get flowers like you maybe hoped or wanted just buy them yourself it's just as fun if not better because you can pick them out yourself See guys, this this is more what I'm talking about. We got a free people, and if you look across the street, can you see that over there? That is a beautiful pottery barn. I truly don't anticipate buying anything from either one, if I'm being frank, but we're gonna window shop, so let's go. I found the clearance room, and this room just gives me straight anxiety. There's like no space to walk. 
a lot of colors in here. It's kind of cute though. You guys want to see the biggest scrunchie in the world? Th that can't be real. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Okay, I could easily cross the street, but it's a heavy traffic street and it's getting cold. So yes, I'm going to drive across the street. Don't judge me. Alrighty, so it is 5 p.m. The movie is at 6.45. Um, I bought the tickets yesterday, so the movie's at 6.45. And I think the movie's only like 10 15 minutes ish from like this area from what I gathered so I think I should probably think about getting dinner now because I think I'm gonna do like a sit-down dinner so it's gonna take a little bit there is a place called I think it's called the Asian kitchen and that sounds really good to me right now so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna look up where that is because I know it's around here and we're gonna head over. All I ate today, honestly, was two waffles and that was around noon. So I am definitely down to have a meal. So let's do it. That was actually the part that I was the most nervous about and it was honestly so nice and like peaceful. I was journaling the whole time and just eating and sipping on my wine. Uh, you'll notice that I didn't really vlog in there so I tried to make a little montage for you. There was music playing and it was pretty loud so I definitely would have gotten a copyright strike and we don't want to mess with that on this channel. So. I just settled for a montage. The food was so good. I got two spring rolls. I think two veggie spring rolls and then chicken lo mein and a glass of white wine and it was all fantastic i even have there's so much of it i have a little goodie bag to take home um and so now it's 607 again movies at 645 i do want a little snack to bring to the movies but i don't want a huge popcorn when i get there i can't really have the candy because i'm still on my fast for i think another like four days but I think there's a CVS, oh I literally see it, there's a CVS right down the street. So I'm going to go there and get some snacks and some water and just sneak it in. If you're telling me you've never done that before, you're lying. Um, so I think I'm going to do that and then we'll head over to the movie. So I'm super full, super content, and now I'm ready to just put my feet up for two hours and watch a movie. I forgot to open my fortune cookie with you guys. I don't believe in these in like the fortune. I don't believe in that, but I just love fortune cookies and they're fun. So let's read it. I'm going to break it in the flower bag because I don't know where else to break it in my car. Okay, let's see. It says... When your values are clear to you, making decisions becomes easier. See, I like those. Where there's like a little life lesson in there. Love that. And I also just love eating them, so. my camera in the car like a dum-dum but I just got out of the movie and it was so cute actually I really I don't remember if I said this I saw the Willy Wonka movie I didn't know what I was getting into I don't even think I saw like the full trailer of the movie so I really didn't know what it was about or what route they were gonna take and it's always risky I think when you remake movies or do a spin-off or whatever but I really enjoyed it actually Timothy Chalamet was very good I think that they casted him perfectly but it was essentially a prequel of how Willy Wonka came to be how he came into his factory what his background story is it was a musical it was very out there very campy almost like purposely just over the top um, but I really enjoyed it I really did so I am gonna head home. I think I have a little over a half an hour drive. It's really not bad at all. And then 
I will close out the vlog once I get home. All right guys, well, I'm home. I haven't mustered up the energy to go change yet, but I'm gonna start editing this vlog. So I wanna wrap it up here and just say thank you for spending the day with me. This is your sign. If you have never taken a solo trip, never taken yourself out to eat, never taken yourself to a movie, do it. I actually enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. I wondered if I would feel like lonely at any point. I didn't. I was chilling the whole time. Um, every once in a while, I think it's, it's really nice to treat yourself in that way. Probably won't be the last time I do it. So anyway, this is your sign to treat yourself, to date yourself well, and to love on yourself well. And until the next vlog, which is actually going to be sooner than you think, and I'm excited for it. Um, but until the next vlog, I hope you guys stay well. I love you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.